Sunsetter Island, Canada, originally from Wellesley Hills, Massachusetts, outside of beautiful Boston. Go Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins, and Celtics. And I have been nominated to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Now before I begin, there are several people that I want to nominate because I've had two friends nominate me. Those are the Nate Dog from down in Louisiana, down in the United States, and my good friend since childhood, Bill Bradley. So I've got several that I'm going to nominate. I'm going to break a bit from the pattern and I've got a list here. So I've kind of broken them down into sections. First is people that are close to me here in the island. Uh, I'm going to nominate my dear sister, Denise Dockerty McDonald. And I'm going to nominate my close friend, Norma Moore-Dingwell. And one of my bestest friends on the planet, Mr. Wade McDonald. Uh, moving to the media type ranks, uh, I'm going to nominate the wonderful Jacqueline Jax Irwin from C100 Radio in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm going to nominate uh, Karen Blake, uh, radio DJ extraordinaire from beautiful Boston, and Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald, the Boston Superman media expert, TV star, movie star uh, extraordinaire down in, in Boston as well. Uh, moving on, I want to nominate some cancer to the mat. And lastly, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Mr. Scott Hall, the bad guy himself, Razor Ramon. I'm pretty sure that uh, the bad guy, after all he's done recently for getting himself in shape and getting himself straightened up, which I'm very proud of you for, Scott. Uh, I want to see you uh, dump a bucket of ice water on your head for ALS and, uh, and uh, show us that the bad guy is really not such a bad guy after all. And lastly, some people uh, in the uh, that are close friends of mine, and some not so close, but but friends from Twitter and from the from the uh, regular world as well. Uh, I want to nominate uh, my friend Eleanor O'Brien down in the Boston, Massachusetts area. I also want to nominate Andrea Barbie, who just had a trip to Boston and is now back home in Nebraska. And I want to nominate, lastly, who was my last one? Oh yes. I guess he fits into the professional wrestling category, but he's in the States. The one and only, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, the Honky Tonk Man down in Arizona. So I want to nominate you, Honky Tonk Man. Remember that cinnamon roll? It's time for some payback. And lastly, how could I forget to make it an even number since my OCD doesn't like odd numbers? The one and only, Mr. No Class Bobby Bass up in Ontario. Now, Mr. Bass, you've been running your mouth all over the country for decades. Now it's time to see if you put up or shut up. Let's see you pour some, uh, pour some ice water over that uh, bollockly challenged little dome of yours there, and let's see you, uh, you can see, see you do that for a good cause of ALS. So, also, you have 24 hours to accept the challenge. If you don't, you have to donate $100 to ALS. So either way, you can still donate because uh, dumping water over your head and sending a check to ALS are both good things. So let's get on with it, shall we? And uh, let's get the uh, dunking done, if we shall. So bag of ice here, fresh, thanks to Norma. And we'll dump it all in here. See? I see some people just put a little scoop of ice in these. Not me, I don't go halfway. I go the full bag. In fact, if it would fit more, I have more. So. So, it's full, and oh, it's cold. So, we're ready for this. So, on the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> 